Okay. We've all heard of alkaline water before. We've heard of acid water before. But what I have here is a brother who's going to break down the difference between alkaline and acid and what products and services he offers to the people. Video time, big brother. Okay. Where should we start? What's the difference between acid and alkaline water? Light and the absence of light. Mm -hmm. If you think of alkaline, just so that you can lock into the inner standing, think of alkaline as light kaline or ra kaline. It's the ability to send ions of light, or as Dr. Gabriel Oyibo says, hydrogen ions. Because according to Dr. Gabriel Oyibo and the ancient Egyptians, Hydrogen is the clay of which all things are made of. So, alkalinity is actually the measure. Mm -hmm. and acidity is the measure of something called pH, which is potential hydrogen. That means the potential presence of light. Acidity, which is from uh, below the uh, measuring scale of 7, acidity is the absence of sufficient light in the outer orbit of the electrons. Wow. Okay. Okay? So when it's alkaline, you have extra electrons. So when you drink alkaline um, juices or foods, you feed light into the cells, tissues, and organs. If you drink processed foods, eat processed foods, it takes light from the cells and accelerate aging. According to the ascended masters, aging is the electrons with their individual intelligence seeing that there isn't enough magnetism and the light leaves the body over a period of time. Okay. So here we have various tools to saturate light into the cells, tissues, and organs. Okay. Now these bottles, they're blue. Is there any science to these bottles? The blue well, is this is blue quartz. Okay. They were originally glass. I put them through a process to change the atomic structure from glass to quartz. Okay. So these are literally quartz activated bottles, cups, and larger mugs. And the reason for that is so that the ions, the light that it's saturated with, will infuse into all liquids, teas or juices that's placed in the cup or placed in the bottle or sprayed upon your face, you will become filled with light. Good question. So the water now, I could take regular tap water and put it in here, right? Yes. So can I, me is, is this measurable? Because, you know, some people are going to want that extra, like, oh, it turned from acid to alkaline water. Is it measurable? Can we measure the pH before and after? There are pH machines on the market mm -hmm. that create, through mechanical means, alkalinity. Kangen machines, right. Jupiter Orion, and there are a number of others. Mm -hmm. That is not how nature produces alkaline water. Nature uses quartz. Every ocean of body is in the chalice of sand. Sand is crystal. That's why crystal is being represented right here. And it's actually filled with light so that the pH structure of the water in the oceans is shifted to alkalinity. River rocks in the rivers, pebbles in the streams. So this is alkaline like nature design. <laughs> so the uh, principle of using the chemical test is not readable on the quartz spectrum or neither is it readable on the magnetic spectrum because the mechanical alkalinity that's being sold on the market today is a step in the right direction. Okay. All right? Even that water, when you place it in a quartz vessel, as the ocean water, as mm -hmm. the river water, as the spring water is, you can taste and experience the heightened level of energy from the crystal spectrum of alkalinity. Okay. So there's different types of alkalinity. You have emotional alkalinity. Certain words are emotionally alkaline. Certain words are emotionally acidic. Certain thoughts are acidic. Certain metals are alkaline producing and certain metals are acid producing. Gotcha. So when someone says this is an alkaline product, 
that's a broad spectrum comment and the measuring technique of using uh, the pH drops are not applicable to all alkalinity and acid measurements. However, the taste buds and muscle testing is. Our faculties within us are able to read and register subtle energy fields, extremely low magnetic fields, far greater than chemical tests, which are also poison. They are also poison. Like a litmus test, for instance? Litmus test. I'm talking about the liquid Peace, test. Man. Peace, my brother. Peace. Okay. <laughs> no, no doubt, no doubt. Peace, peace. So what we use here with the three different size kettlebells is a way for a person to have an individual experience feeling the difference in having the bottle, the bottle, the cup, the spray bottles. Mm -hmm. They can actually have an experience in feeling the difference before, after, energetically. Right. I, I did the test a few moments ago off camera, and it's true. There's, there's a difference when you hold on to the alkaline bottles because... So they're infused with crystals. No, it is quartz. It's quartz. Quartz. Quartz bottles. Right. And so what we're gathering is uh, crystals channel energy. Crystals. And focus energy. It's a nice way to say crystals channel energy. Crystals radiate energy. Crystals, think of it as frozen light. Water is liquid crystal. So if you really want to look at it in a holistic uh, concept, water is literally liquid spirit. Wow. It's made of H2O, hydrogen, oxygen. Hydrogen is the clay that the ancient Egyptians call Amun-Ra. Okay. So it is the clay, chi, ki, mm -hmm. all forms of energy. That's hydrogen. So you can pack literally in our cells. And a great brother whose name is Dr. Imhotep, down from uh, Georgia, he says, he shared with me, every 10 cells take one volt of electricity. Mm. Every 10 cells take one volt of electricity. That's so if you do the multiplication of how much voltage is in a healthy body, mm -hmm. you can see that it becomes a reality that you can fire lightning bolts from one place to another if 10 cells have one, one volt, volt of electricity. Mm -hmm. Your eyeball alone is enough to power this building. Exactly. Personal magnetism is big. any level you wish. That's where chi kong, packing, filling your body with light, uh, prana in India, ki in Japan, chi uh, in China, it's packing light, light, to, so that you literally infuse light. To Same as kundalini. Kundalini is a movement of your internal energy. Okay. It's a mother coil. That's separate. That's separate. Okay. We talk okay. about light tension. Spiritual DNA yeah, and all of that, right? Yeah, that's that's sexual energy rising up the spine and activating the chakras. Okay, okay. Spirit power materializes sexual energy. Sexual energy cultivated, brought up the spine, up the major canal of the Nile of the body mm -hmm. becomes spiritual, spiritual energy. energy. So sexual energy cultivated, rising, called riding the dragon in Tantra. Okay. So you bring the sexual energy from the sex chakra up past the solar plexus and heart chakra becomes love. Passionate expressions of love, music, spheres of poetry. Mm. Language. So whatever chakra it comes into, that's the expression. God, I appreciate it. Okay, we need a little contact info so the people who are interested in your product, you know, website, email, what have you, name. Okay, um, the best place in Brooklyn to pick up these bottles is 1304 Fulton Street. And that's on Fulton and No Street at the Candle Store. Um, you can call me, 718-930-0516. And you can drink your way back to health. Good. Appreciate that. What's your name again, brother? Uncle Rising Sun. Uncle Rising Sun. All right. Be blessed. Okay.